Um, so, well, uh, I didn't want to, um, I guess, get her, let her look at too many second serves, but um, even on my second serve, she was moving back and allowing me to kind of, most of the time, dictate play. So, uh, whenever I can serve well, I know that um, I'm going to be in for a pretty good showing. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. If I can go playing like that every day, then I'd be pretty happy. So, um, yeah, yesterday I thought I played well, and uh, today to back that up was very pleasing. Well, yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, if you can go out there and play like that in Fed Cup, then that's probably a good sign, and um, definitely very pleased I've been able to follow on from the Australian Open into this week, and then hopefully into next week when I head to Dubai. So, uh, the more matches I can play the way I have this weekend, then, yeah, definitely I think I can achieve my goals. Oh, I'd be very pleased. Um, it's been a long, long road back for us, and uh, I think I've played every qualifying um, tie that we've been in, except for one when I was six. So um, it's been a long, long road, like I said. But if we can manage to get back there by the end of this year, then I think that'd be a great achievement for us. Um, we've all been wanting to do it, so um, I think we've got a really good group of players together now, and um, yeah, I think it'll be um, kind of icing on the cake for us. Oh, it's getting better. It's something I've been trying to work on my whole career, but I guess it's kind of been magnified the last year or so since I've got a little bit higher in the rankings. And uh, I think at this point, so much of it's mental compared to anything else, compared to when you're 50 or so. But um, yeah, I think it's just work in progress. And I think every week I try and get a little bit better. So, you know, who, who knows how much further I've got to go, but if I can have the same kind of attitude like I've had this weekend, then um, anything's possible. Oh, well, at least she's been playing really well in practice all week, and I'm sure she's gonna love the opportunity to get out of it, out there in front of a home crowd. So um, hopefully she can play well, and uh, she's definitely got a good chance against Carla. They played only last month in Hobart. So um, hopefully, yeah, we can get another one, and then we've won. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's a she's a tough opponent. I only played her a few weeks ago in Hobart. We had a much closer match then. I think it was 6-3 or 6-4 in the third. But she grabbed a foothold today. Um, she was hitting her corners pretty well. I felt like she was dictating from the middle a lot. Um, when I was aggressive, I was probably too aggressive. When I was passive, I was probably too passive. So, you know, two extremes. I didn't really find much middle ground. Um, after Hobart, I thought it's a match that I could have won. Um, so I was looking forward to playing her, and that's the last couple of weeks, that's actually what I've been preparing for. Um, but again, playing a tournament again is different to playing Fed Cup when it's a live rubber. Uh, that could have won us the tie. I know we still have another crack at the doubles now. Um, and then playing in front of your home crowd, of course, you, you want to bring your best tennis. So, um, you know, I had a lot of opportunities there, I think late in the second set to win a few games, and then again in that third set, but just couldn't quite get there today. Um, I mean, I played her three weeks ago, but I lost six runs there, so I had a lot of knowledge and I had a lot of points, and um, I think both of our coaches have watched plenty of her plays, so uh, it wasn't as if we did. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. I did do my homework, but she was much better than me today. Gosh, there's, it's very simple. She outclassed me big time. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, it's much better to go into a doubles as a dead rubber, knowing you win, but I'm very confident in the team that we have going out there to play doubles, that they're a, a winning combination and they will win us the tie. Oh, I'm just really, really happy. It's been um, a long road back to this point, like we've been saying a week, so for us to all be part of getting um, this far is just really exciting and really, really great to be a part of. When did you know you were playing doubles? Um, a week. I guess we kind of had an idea of what might happen depending how the singles played out, but um, you know, I was ready to go no matter what, and if I wasn't playing, then um, yeah, I was going to be ready to cheer from the sidelines. Uh, we had, a, I don't know if you've thought about this, but we had a few demons against those two. We, we were up really easily against them in Canada, up 6-1 uh, through love, I think, and we ended up losing to them in the final in a super tie break. So I think Sam and I were pretty aware of that subconsciously that we didn't want to stop, we just wanted to keep going until we finished. Yeah, definitely. It's um, a great way to finish the summer here in Australia and um, to be part of a team again and uh, to do it here is a great feeling and should probably help me for the rest of the year, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, well, our first tie was in 92. My first tie was with Nick. That was our first match. My first match was with Nicole and it was a deciding match as well. So, um, yeah, it's, i, I got to tell you, on a personal note, like we have been the you know, pretty much the core of this group right here have been the core that have been in and out for four years and we've had some 
illnesses. Yeah. We've had major major illnesses. Yeah. We've had a major you know injury. Obviously, Alicia had her injuries and coming out of retirement. And um, I guess I'm the only one who's been around the whole time. But, uh, <laughs> but to be a part of that and to be a part of these other three and with Nicole and with Dave. To get back into the world, you know, possibly into that. We're in the world group now. No, no we're we're yet. Yet. Yeah, we have that opportunity. We've got to knock up Russia now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, to have that, Easy. To, just to have that opportunity to be back where I yeah. believe that women's tennis in Australia deserves to be, which is in the top echelons of, of Fed Cup, is it's great. You know, so be yeah, one more, and a, you know, might be a really good end to uh, the run. But we'll see. Yeah, I think it's a good reward. You know, like Sam's the best player in Australia, <coughs> male or female, at the, mo at the moment, and. and uh, for her to come here under pressure, under scrutiny, and you know, go as far as any other Australian in singles at the Aussie Open, and then come here and then do that for your country, it's just, it's just really, really good for her. And I think that can change careers, and, 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 and it could give her an extra step up now to, to get even better.